Hey guys, it's Key here from Kegland and just want to talk to you about our new refractometers that we've just got. These new ones we have are now got an LED function. It's really fantastic and I wanted to explain to you. Now in the past, a lot of you guys, uh, if you've started off in home brewing, you're probably using a, uh, or have used one of these uh, hydrometers. And it's a basic tool, basically on the gravity uh, of the wort sample, this will float higher or lower depending on what that gravity is. Really, really simple. However, with all grain brewing, and a lot of people, if you've graduated to all grain brewing, you might see the need for a refractometer. Now, refractometers, on the other hand, what they do is they uh, basically take a sample which goes underneath this lens, and then depending on the, the, the angle at, at which they you know, refract light, uh, they'll essentially be able to calculate that back into a, um, uh, into a gravity reading. And a lot of the uh, home brewing refractometers, they have a lens which actually, inside the lens, they've actually got a gravity reading in there, um, which does that calculation for you. So these are a fantastic tool in all grain brewing, especially because often in all grain brewing, you're trying to collect as much wort from your mash tun as possible. Um, however, you don't really want to go below about sort of 10, 10 on the, on the, on, on the, on the concentration of sugars, so, or the gravity. Um, so yeah, with a, a traditional hydrometer, if you're doing that, you'd have to cool each sample down and then collect this much wort each time, and it'd take a lot of stuffing around to do that. However, if you're fly sparging from your mash tun, if you've got a little refractometer, all you need is to take a very small sample, and literally within a few seconds, you can get an accurate reading. Now, these new ones uh, have a little LED light on the side here, which is really, really handy, I must say. The older refractometers that look like this, they were okay, however, the issue with them is you didn't always have the perfect light source. So sometimes if you're indoors or you're brewing in and your brew day's gone a bit late, you're brewing into dusk, the, the, the ambient light's just not bright enough to get a good reading. You might find you look into the lens and it just looks a bit fuzzy and it's hard to really get an excellent reading. These new LED ones, I must say, are fantastic. You literally hit this button on the side there, it illuminates the lens and you get a really, really nice sharp line, which is very, very easy to read. You still can use it if you happen to run out of batteries on your brew day or something like that. You still can use it as a traditional um, a refractometer with uh, you know a normal light source or stepping out into the sun or going outdoors. However, the LED function is really handy. Just takes a few little button cells in there and away you go. Now the first thing you'll notice is they come in a nice hard case like this. Um, yeah, and inside we've got the refractometer, uh, we've got the pipette and a little screwdriver for calibration as well. So when you first get it, they're generally going to be more or less calibrated. However, you might want to do some calibration when you first get it with some distilled water. Um, so you just pop a little bit of distilled water on the lens here and shut the lid and then take off this cap and then with the included little screwdriver you got here, you can just adjust this. And one, while you're looking through the lens, you want to adjust this until you get a zero reading uh, on, the, on the lens there and just put the cap back on. So the calibration is pretty straightforward. Now for a lot of you newbies out there, I just wanted to firstly explain that this tool is generally used for taking um, the, uh, the re like uh, gravity readings um, prior to fermentation. Once the fermentation takes place, you've got not just sugar and water there, but you've also got sugar, water and alcohol, and the alcohol tends to put the reading out. So unless you use some type of formulation or calculation or online calculator uh, to calculate out that, then you're not gonna get an accurate reading after. So it's really important. Sometimes you get newbies who use a refractometer and think, oh, this is the bee's knees, and then they get into fermentation and then it's giving them incorrect readings and they can't work out why, but that's more or less it. Um, taking a readings are really simple. Um, I would always say after you take a reading, uh, always make sure your lens is clean and uh, wash it with clean water first, because obviously if you've got some slight, small amounts of dried up sugar here from the previous reading, that's gonna be an issue and it's gonna put your next reading off. So that's the first thing I should also mention. So make sure that when you first get it, that you've previously washed it and dried it, because obviously if you've still got water on here, it's also gonna dilute the sample as well. So we're gonna wash it, dry it, and then we're gonna get the pipette, pipette out. And I've got a little bit of um, uh, wort in this cup here, so I'm just gonna take a very small sample. One of the beauties about refractometers is sample size can be absolutely tiny. Uh, all we need is a few drops here. Uh, so just uh, put that on the lens, away we go. Now I'm indoors, so I'm gonna use this light on here. Now I've got so much ambient light because of the studio lights in here that actually you may not see the LED light illuminate. But yeah, I've just shut the lens, making sure there's no bubbles underneath there as well. And then I'm just gonna look in through this lens and boom, as you can see, I'm getting pretty much right on 1023. 
Now, if you get a slightly out of focus um, image on here, you may have to just adjust this just with this uh, dial here. That can just bring the, bring the focus in pretty tight there for you. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, that wraps it up, fellas. Hope you enjoy using our new LED refractometer. I think they're awesome. Um, yeah, if you wanna hear about all the other new stuff that we got coming up, definitely sign up to our YouTube channel just down the right-hand corner there. If you wanna hear about uh, any of the other specials or giveaways we do, definitely sign up to our Facebook page or like our Facebook page and you'll get uh, updated with any of our new posts. All right, hope to see you next time. Bye.